Well, uh, mechanical curves were important, I would say, for two reasons. One is that Descartes had banished them from uh, his work, and uh, Descartes' pupils, uh, Van Schotten's actually pupils, had uh, uh, developed Cartesian ideas, building uh, a theory that allowed them to deal with geometrical curves, but not with mechanical curves. So one reason is that uh, mathematicians like to uh, to to you know to extend the borders of uh, of what is known and uh, um, and uh, so one reason is purely mathematical if you like there are objects such as the spiral and the cycloid that um, are not dealt with uh, Cartesian methods uh, why not trying a new analysis and uh, try to deal with these curves. So this is uh, the first reason. A second reason is that mechanical curves proved to be very useful in natural philosophy. One of these curves, the cycloid, is very interesting. Uh, a mathematician called Christian Huygens uh, discovered that the cycloid has a very interesting property. It is not only an interesting curve, it is uh, a curve that has an interesting mechanical property. But first I should define what a cycloid is. A cycloid is the curve traced by a point on the circumference of a circle that rolls without sliding along a line. So if you have a pendulum, the period of oscillation depends upon the amplitude of oscillation. How can we construct a pendulum that beats time in such a way that the period of oscillation does not depend upon the amplitude. And uh, Huygens discovered that if you have a, a cycloid and uh, a body which slides without friction along the cycloid under the effect of constant gravity, the period of oscillation of this body does not depend upon the amplitude of oscillation. In other words, you take this body, you move it, doesn't matter how much, you release it, and the body will oscillate with a constant uh, period of oscillation. Now, Huygens published this result in 1673 in a book entitled Orologium Oscillatorium. And this is, you know, just one of the main applications of mechanical curves to mechanics and to horology, too. Other curves that were interesting for application purposes were the loxodrome, which was interesting for navigation, and the catenary, which is the curve that the chain that is suspended uh, at its ends will, uh, will have under the action of gravity. So, when Newton was young, he was uh, naturally led to study, to study the properties of mechanical curves, to study how to calculate the area of the surface bounded by geometrical curves as the hyperbola or the circle. And uh, we might say that 
one of his motivations was this one. The same holds true for Leibniz, actually. 